Ayan. Swerte po tayo ngayong gabi dahil makakasama natin this Monday evening, kailangan kanina si Medyo Ochoa, ang mga miyembro ng DLSU Swimming Team na after 19 years, nakuha po nila yung championship ng UAP Women's Swimming. Join us today are some of the swimmers who have made impact to this year's championship one. Alayin natin ang nagbabalik sports corner PH, our SEA Games gold medalist, our pride in swimming, Chloe Isleta. Hi Chloe, good evening. Hi, good evening. Thank you for having us. And of course, that newly crowned champion of the National Duathlon Championships and SEA Games of, uh, bronze medalist in triathlon, but in the UAP, nag-gold medalist po siya, Raven Faith Alcoseba. Maayong gabi. Hello, maayong gabi po. And of course, ang nagbabalik din na Sports Corner PH, ito, namiss ko ito na makausap, syempre. One of the best of the best. Mula nung palalang pamansa hanggang sa UAAP. Nicole Paminto. Nikki Pamintuan. Hi, Nikki. Hi, pa. Good evening. Okay. Thank you, girls, for your uh, gracious presence dito sa aming program. So sad to tell you guys that, uh, of course, per advice, Chandy Chua will not come to the Zoom interview. Well, si Shandy ay MVP. But naintindihan natin dahil, of course, nag-undergo pa ng thesis defense sa ngayon, this week. Kaya hindi po natin siya makakasama. But promise, we will have her in the future episodes niya ng ating program. But anyway, girls, salamat ulit for accepting this invite. Kamusta na kayo ngayon, all three of you? I know some of you guys are preparing for major tournaments like Chloe, while others are tapos na. But UAP is considered as a springboard or tune-up for those tournaments. I start with Chloe. Kamusta ka na ngayon? Uh, good. I just had practice this morning. I did gym and then practice this afternoon. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, back back to work for sure for next week. Okay, which is uh, the uh, World Swimming Championships. Kung hindi ako nakakamali, and you will be joining also sina Jasmine, si Tanya, Jonathan Cook, and Jella Lucinto, and we will discuss it further later on. What about si Raven, na fresh na fresh from New Clark City, uh, winning the title dun sa National Duathlon? Kamusta ka na yun? Hello po, okay naman. Pagod. <laughs> wow, nakaramdam nga ng pagod niya dahil alam ko, sunod-sunod yung mga competitions niya na sinyalihan. Si Nikki naman? Um, ngayon po nagka-catch up lang sa mga school works. Ganon. Kasi ang daming na-vacant nung during you up. So, tinatapos ko lang kasi finals week rin po namin. Okay. So, finals din si uh, Nikki. I know uh, you have been busy also dun sa mga ginagawa mga academic works just like si Shandy. So, I'll start with Chloe, yung ating Q&A. I know you're just playing for only one season kasi dun ka nag-masters. And you were finished college before sa Arizona State where they where she won uh, different uh, UA, uh, NCAA titles and, of course, division and conference titles. How is does it special to play for only one and done season for you up? And how was the training with your new teammates you found at La Salle? Um, it was really nice training with everyone. I think that's super important to be able to train together so you can have that bond um before competition uh and for my one and done playing years for you app um you know i think even if it weren't just one year i think it made it really special because it was also my first you app and being able to re represent dlsu and um again like every race that i did was extremely fun because a lot of my teammates were there supporting each other. Okay, let's uh, switch on to Raven. Raven, nagalit ka dun sa tatlong taon na layoff bago ka bumalik sa inyong first love, first passion mo na swimming kasi alam nyo naman si Raven bago pa naging uh, isang decorated triathlete at duathlete kasi kakapanalo lang dun sa nationals. Naging baagi ka ng DLSU na junior high school team na nag ng mga ang medalya doon sa UAP uh, High School. Masaya ka ba na naibalik mo na sa inyong first love na maglaro sa collegiate level na swimming? And I heard some of the triathletes 
from the national team also took part dun sa UAP that time. Uh, yes po. Actually, tatlo po kami na national team sa triathlon na nag-compete po ng UAP. Pero yung sa swimming naman po, siguro at first, kinabahan lang po kasi nga three years after pa ako nakapag-swim ulit. Pero at the same time, I had fun po nung buong swimming competition na yun. Oo nga pala eh. Kasi tatlong taon niya ang inaba ng uh, uh, pinagal ninyo ng break ninyo sa uh, sa swimming. Pero at least naman niyo pa rin na mag-swim through the triathlon. Kasi at least malaki ang naitulong sa inyo. Uh, parang advantage na rin. Para makonka ninyo itong uh, UAP di, uh, UAP, di ba? Yes po. Okay. Siniki naman. Uh, ikaw naman, since naikwento ko so sa inyo the last time we interviewed you, my times or my trials or challenges both mentally and physically, masaya ka ba na tinanggap mo na gusto ang amon nyo na muli mong idala yung mission ninyo at vision na muling idala ang Lasal patungo sa championship ng UAP? Opo, kasi it's always an honor to represent the green and white rin, especially sa UAAP kasi Um, as a team, yun po talaga yung goal namin and laging pinagahandaan every year. Oh, like, uh, si Nikki na yung magkakwenta sa atin kung paano yung training ng uh, team natin uh, kayo ni Shandy and the rest of the teammates. I have to also mention yung ilan sa mga prominent names. Si Nasacho Ilustre sa men's and of course si Seb Wong na kapatid ni Agatha Wong. Ah uh, Nikki, uh, since they kwen- uh, at least uh, naikwenta natin yung uh, pinagdaanan ninyo How was the training went with your teammates returning and some rookies and what kind of feeling like what kind of feeling like to train weeks before the UAP talaga na preparation ng sarili niyo at kumusta ang jelling at camaraderie with the teams at yung mga practice na times na bine-break niyo Um next start po kami mag face to face training uh, around August or end of August pero Um, yung iba, like may own trainings po sila, like sa team sila and sa clubs. Pero, pero dito sa DLSU, nag-start lang kami mga end of August. So mga three months, two and a half months lang po yung preparation namin as a team. So parang medyo kinompress ng mga coaches yung trainings namin kasi may hinahabol po kami. And yung iba, during pandemic, hindi sila makaswim or kasi may COVID pa nga and yung iba closed yung pool sa area nila. So, yung iba naming teammates ngayon lang ulit nakapag-training um, going to UAAP. So, ayun po, um, like the usual 5 a.m. trainings every day and then may times na after swim, may gym po kami and then yung iba like mag-gym muna or mag-training before going to class kasi since we have face-to-face na rin po. So, ayun po, um, Sobrang inano po yung training namin kasi alam po namin na short time short na lang yung preparation namin going to UAAP. And so far, um nakita ko sa teammates ko, sobrang nag-pay off rin naman yung mga trainings namin. Kahit maliit lang yung time namin for preparation. At least kahit of course maliit nga ang uh, ginawa ninyo yung preparation at least nagbunga nga yung uh, yung mga pagsisikap ninyo to have a great Uh, season it was for La Salle. So I will let all three of you to share to us your takeaways or thoughts in what could be the best season for the Lady Tankers in the UAP Season 85. May we know if ilan yung mga medals na nakuha ninyo in that competition, the events you join, and how it best are them to record some improved times and even some of them broke records in the UAP level, may ilan na national level like si Tanya. And even Chloe has a uh, UAP records that you broke. You start with uh, I start with Chloe muna. Uh, what's your thoughts on your performance? At ilan medals ang uh, napalanunan mo doon sa UA? Um, <clears throat> I don't know how many medals uh you know that we got, but I think um of course we're thinking about points and all, but. I I don't think for me I don't think I was thinking about placement and medals. I think as a team we're just trying to get as many points as we can, and that can include you know eighth place so you can get points. That can include sixth, fourth, and even though those places don't medal, they still count. You know, uh, to be able to win that championship. So, 
Um, and plus, oh, sorry, what was the, what were the other questions besides um, the meddling? Oh, of course, yung uh, thoughts and performance dun sa mga events na nakuha ninyo ng uh, gito. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, we got nine. I think we got nineteen golds. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I think we got nineteen golds overall. But um, but yeah, we were super happy with um, our uh our results because I think everyone uh gave their hundred percent effort and we did get some new UAP records from a lot of the uh our swimmers and even from other teams. And it's really nice just to see the growth and improvement of, you know, Philippines swimming. How about si Raven? What are your thoughts on your individual events that you have joined? And of course, yung mga medalya na napalunan mo doon sa uh, UAP, uh, your takeaways there? Uh, for me naman po, I was really happy with my swims po kasi most of my swims, as in after three years, ko na nag nagawa ulit. So I wasn't expecting na magbe best time ako dun sa iba. So I was super happy po with my performance. And as a team naman po, nakita ko po talaga kung paano ka passionate yung mga teammates ko with the sport. As in sobrang pinaghirapan po nila to get the championships. At gaano ka ba katrailed na yung isa sa mga teammates ninyo during that time happens to be a gold medalist? sa C Games yung nakasama mo rin sa Anoy at, at talaga na impressed ka ba dun sa mga ginawa niyang uh, magandang showings diyan sa UAP? Oh yes po since grabe po yung mga times sila and as in super makikita mo kung paano sila ka dedicated with the sport po. Okay, kay Nikki naman, same question, ano ang masasabi mo sa maganda performance mo diyan sa UAP? Um actually for me, um, hindi po um, ganun ka ganda yung performance ko this season. Pero I'm still proud of myself kasi uh, two months lang yung preparation ko for this season. So, um, and mentally rin, meron akong like binabattle inside. And also, nahirapan ako mag-training kasi this season kasi um, I'm the co-captain of the team. So, nahirapan ako mag-adjust kasi ang daming responsibilities. So, Yun nga, nahirapan ako kasi trainings, yung school, tapos yung responsibilities pa as co-captain. Kasi hindi ako sanay. Kasi pumasok ako dito, like, fresh ako. So parang ako yung baby sa team. Tapos nag-pandemic, tapos pagbalik nag-co-cap kagad. So parang, ayun, nahirapan ako mag-adjust. And also, may times na homesick rin ako. Kasi nga, dahil may mental problems ako. Pero yun, so far, um, maayos naman yung naging performance ko despite everything. What about sa leadership skills? Kasi nabagit mo kanina ni Kid, isa kang co-captain. By the way, yung captain mo si Shandy, di ba? How about sa leadership niyo bilang co-captain? Ah, uh, Yung captain po namin, um, si Bettina Ting. Ah, si Bettina. Ano ba ang inyong thoughts sa inyong uh, leadership skills kayo ni Bettina para may dala ninyo yung uh, lasal sa tropeyo ng UAP? Actually, to be honest, Parehas po kami ni Bettina. Um, first time namin to handle a big team. So, nung start, medyo nahirapan kami kasi like lahat kami nag adjust Pero syempre, since may position kami sa team, kailangan namin like mas maging older sister sa mga like teammates namin. So, um, nakita naman po namin na sobrang uh, yung discipline po ng team namin. Sobrang ang laki na improvement from season 82 and um nakita rin po namin na mas solid yung team ngayon dahil sa bonding last like mas close lahat na mas nagtutulungan every training um in and out of the pool um nagtutulungan lahat um trainings or sa mental mindset like lahat kami nagtutulungan so yun yung pinaka gusto namin ngayon ni captain sa team Thank you, Nikki. Speaking of records niya pala dito sa UAP, nagpakilala ng gusto. I know Chloe, your teammate pala in your upcoming worlds. Tanya de la Cruz from Ateneo na nagbroke ng three new records in 50, 100, and 200 breaststroke. Kaya nga siya tinawag na queen of breaststroke. Did you shock and impress Chloe in uh, the performance of your fellow teammate, the national team, who also registered some qualifying times, QTAs and QTBs? 
for different international competitions this year and next year doon sa UAP. Chloe. Um yeah, actually after actually after every race that she did, I was I was so happy, so happy for her. I um I'd be like, "Wow, this is an amazing performance. Whatever you're doing, keep it up because you know, everyone has their own goals and you know, I'm seeing that improvement in a lot of people, especially Tanya and I'm I'm very proud of her. I think I want the best for her and I want the best for all the swimmers that were there. So, I'm very very proud and I'm excited to see what she can do, you know, in those other big international meets and sea games. So, excited. With those medals at hand, plus Shandy Chua won the coveted MVP title. Talagang nasil ninyo, Chloe, ang Lasal patungo sa unang championship. Talaga naman, stop-stop ng lineup. And of course, the dominance niya ng Ateneo ay naputol na after more than uh, two yeah. decades or 19 years. What's it surprising to see that Lasal managed to seal the title victory in UAP after more than uh, two decades of uh, title drop? Um, it was, I think, I don't know about like surprising. I, it was, it was very, very nice. Cause I know that my teammate or all of us, um, we really came together. We all talked about our goals and, um, we knew what we wanted and we had to take some steps to get there. Um, we had to come together as a team. We had to see what, we had to place in certain events to be able to get as many points as we could. So we really broke down into those details. And if we were able to follow that chart that we made, then we knew that we would be able to either be close to getting the championship or be able to get the championship. So again, we were just very, very focused and we had a goal and, you know, by the end of it, we were, we were able to achieve the goals that we wanted. So um, I think we're, we were all very happy. So this is actually the fifth overall title for La Salle in the history of the tournament. And the last one was in season 65 and 66, then they got back to back. Uh, they managed to score 418 points overall to seal the title. And even the full support given by the families, the friends, including your mom, si, uh, Cecil, and relatives, and not mismo sa venue at online, talagang damang daman nila yung uh, full support nila sa inyong title campaign and even those who have had this campaign, yung mga sponsors and of course the benefactors as well. Chloe, we considered also as an inspiration in your UAP campaign. Sorry, was the question who's my inspiration in the UAP? Who's your inspiration to uh, win those uh, breakthrough performances? Um, um I I think um someone asked me this before if you know my goal was to just you know win certain medals but again I think as a team our goal was you know try the best as we can and hopefully win the championship title as a team for me if it was either gold bronze eighth seventh if I would have been happy to give as many points as I can if I gave at least if I gave my 100% effort. So I think as a team, we were, our goal was to get the championship. My goal, my personal goal was to give as many points as I can uh, to the team. So I'm I'm very happy with everyone else's performance. How about si Raven? Sino ba ang naging inspiration nyo kung bakit nakakuha ninyo yung titulo nyo sa Lasal? At at least nadamang-daman niya yung uh, suporta na pinibigay ng inyong mga pamilya, mahal sa buhay, pati na lang yung mga kapwa-estudyante sa Lasal. Of course po, unang-una sa lahat, yung family ko po talaga. And yung next po is my teammates po from Lasal. And also na rin to the whole Lasalian community na po. Kasi I don't want to disappoint them po, lalo na since high, from high school po talaga. As in, I've been representing the green and white po. So, so syempre, sa pagdating ng first year up ko sa college, I wanted na maayos po yung performance ko. How about si Nikki? Um, siguro yung inspiration ko po for this season is my parents, and then same as Raven, um, teammates and coaches and the Lasallian community kasi both po kami uh, since high school, nire-represent na yung Lasal sa UAAP and other competitions. So, um, this season, yung naging goal ko lang talaga is mainly 
is mga contribute rin ng points sa team to get to our goal for this season and maging maayos ng performance ko. By the way, special mention mo rin yung Lola Nino na unfortunately na maalam siya during the pandemic. Yes po, uh, so of course, syempre para sa lola ko rin po yun. Okay, uh, mamaya natin tatalakayin pa yung ibang updates sa swimming but sisigit natin konti si Raven. Kasi congratulations, you have been just been won yesterday the title ng National Duathlon Championships dyan sa New Clark City kay Yoni Per Casares sa ang nanalo doon sa men's and women's elite sprint. Gusto natin talakayin ng konti kasi in the absence of Kim Mang Robang, na medyo nagpapahinga muna noong ngayong 2023 season. Ikaw si, kasi uh, yung top favorite na mananalo ka dun sa competition. What were your thoughts on your great run dito sa National Duathlon? And of course, leading the way to a gold medal finish na napanununan ninyo in the tournament na nagsilbing qualifies na rin for the SEA Games. Uh, siguro for me po, so, kahit wala po si Ate Kim, sobrang tough pa rin po ng level of competition since dumalo po yung mga Singaporeans and Malaysians. So, I wasn't really expecting anything po kasi galing pa po ng UAP swimming. So, I wasn't sure if yung fitness level ko sa run was still the same. But I think kinaya naman po nung race. Although walang swimming part dun sa National Duathlon kasi run, bike, run yung ginawa ninyo. Malapit ba ang tinulong itong uh, UAP swimming or advantage para mapaganda ang performance niyo niyo come 2023 season? And I think i-mention na rin natin yung mga iba pa mga World Cups na sinasalihan niyo uh, Although, uh, meron kayong priorities na sa UAP ka muna maglalara- maglalabat. Oh, siguro, I think po, with, the, with my endurance po, sabang nakatulong pa yung swimming. Pero at least uh, malaki din ang uh, naibigay na support na rin ng inyong uh, main sponsor nga ng uh, uh, Talisay uh, Coaching, yung Go for Gold sa inyong pagkapanalo nga. Malaki ba binasalamatan ninyo ng Go for Gold upang makuha ninyo yung uh, mga tamang forma, tamang direksyon nyo pagdating sa triathlon career and even sa swimming career na alam natin naging booming na. Uh, siguro po with Go for Gold po, sobrang supportive po nila since from our flights to our meals and our hotels po as in, they really paid for everything po para wala po kaming problema. So I think mal- mal- sobrang malaking bagay po yun sa, ano, namin, sa team namin. Thank you, Raven. Uh, I'll switch again to Nikki. Nikki, kasi alam natin ang you up, eh, yung pagbabalik ninyo sa swimming after more than two years from the pandemic. Ba magtutuloy-tuloy ka pa rin ba na isabak ka doon sa iba pang mga qualifiers for the national team in the near future? Um, yes po. Um since I uh, intend ko na lang po until maka-graduate ako. So, tatapusin ko talaga siya. So, unahin muna yung studies bago mo i-pursue yung uh, pangarap niyo na makasali doon sa mga national qualifiers. Ah, uh, no po. Um ipagsasabay ko po. Um So parang basically as of now yung decision ko po is after I graduate sa college magse-stop na rin ako mag-swim pero may chance rin naman po mag-change ng mind depende po sa maging plans. Pero isa sa mga uh, factors diyan pala sa pagde-decide ay yung sa mental health problems na kailangan niyo lang pa di ba? Yes po, kailangan po. Okay, I'll switch back to Chloe. Is the UAP considered as a big help, lalo na you are preparing for yet another competition, which is the PINA Worlds, along with Tanya, the Olympian Jasmine Alcati, Sebastian Cook, and Gerard Alcinto. But unfortunately, there seems to have a uh, change of leadership sa PSI. Uh, I don't want to talk about your thoughts about and opinion about this issue, but is it going to affect your training itong bagong directive from PINA para dito sa pag-aanda ninyo for the worlds? Um, no, I, uh, again, I tend to block a lot of things out. I just want to focus on my swimming, my racing, and um, getting ready for the competition. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just doing my typical training, getting back into it, doing gym, practice, making sure I'm prepared for my next competition. 
So parang it's a uh, distraction in ka nga doon sa inyong uh, uh, dream ninyo na maka-achieve ninyo ng mga record times itong ng mga nangyayari na yon sa PSI. But uh, as of now, nasa peak na ba ng condition ninyo going into the worlds? At kamusta ang training ninyo for this along with uh, the other teammates na nandun nyo yung uh, nagtitraining sa Rizal and some of uh, others na uh, nagtitrain abroad like si Jasmine? Um, so right now, the a lot of the, the pools at uh, like Rasan, the DLSU pool, we have limited uh, hours of training because now UAEP is done. So I'm just kind of finding my way to find short course meters pools um, because I'm done with long course for right now until after Worlds. Then I'll focus on long course again. But my next meet is short course meters. So I'm just trying to look for short course meters pools to prepare for um, Worlds competition. Okay, so what's next for Lasal? I think si Raven ang uh, magsasabi uh, nito, mag uh, tatanong. Uh, I know kayo dalawa na lang ni Nikki and the rest ang uh, mag uh, re for the champion from the champion lineup kasi magpapaalam na si Chloe. Ano na lang ang susunod ninyong akbang sa inyo at mukhang kayo yung magpapasa nito no, even si Shandy na ipopapatuloy opening uh, opuli yung winning tradition ng Lasal going into season 86 next year. Also, uh, sana po matuloy-tuloy naman even without sila Ate Shandy and Chloe. But as of now po, my focus will be for Jayathan muna since qualifying pa po ng SEA Games next year. And then I'll focus on swimming next next season na po. So, ang focus mo nga ngayon ay uh, triathlon. Kasi alam ko, May yung SEA Games. Pero, hopeful ka, ka pa rin ba na makuha ninyo yung spots na, ng uh, triat para sa Philippine Triathlon at Duathlon teams? Depende na lang sa magiging uh, announcements ng uh, inyong NSA na trap? Yes, but depende po kung sino yung feeling nila na fit for the lineup rin po. Okay, so medyo sentimental ang ating last question kasi si Chloe ay magpapaalam na sa Lasal app. No? Just only one year doon sa UAP. This is your lone new app that you have joined. What do you miss most with Lasal and your bonding with your coaches and teammates as you take on a new chapter in your swimming career, this time with the national team? Chloe? Um, It's definitely something i'm i'm gonna miss a lot um i think there is a huge difference with being in this kind of team and swimming you know internationally i've um told a lot of my teammates you know when you swim internationally you do a lot of traveling you're you know you're traveling um it's so it's, it is a little bit difficult so being able to, to be with the team and having everyone support each other you can really feel the the love and the support that we all have with one another and it it definitely want, makes you want to swim not only for you but for the people that you're representing so i'm definitely going to miss that Nikki ano mga bagay na pinaka mamimiss mo kay Chloe sa iyo um for me yung presence niya po sa team kasi parang siya yung what do you call it? Parang sunshine sa team. Ganon like yung personality niya. She brings out the best talaga sa lahat. And um, the way na namomotivate kami every time. She trains with us and especially no UAAP. Like, sobrang mamimiss. <laughs> sobrang mamimiss namin si Ate Chloe. And sobrang thankful kami na pinili niya yung Lasal, the Lasal. And nag-stay pa rin siya for one more year. How about si Raven? Uh, siguro for me po, since si Ate Chloe naging roommate ko po nung UAAP, mamamiss ko po yung ingay niya. So, mga 5 a.m. pa po, as in, nagtatawanan na kami. So, I think, tatawa po yung sinabi ni Ate Nikki na she's our sunshine po sa team. At least, uh, si Chloe nga ay uh, parang uh, bright light, sunshine, ray ng uh, kuponan. And of course, Marami makakamiss sa inyo sa collegiate career na at least na matagal ang inabot kasi naglaro ka dati sa Arizona Strike. Pero sa Lasal, talaga naman nag-boom ang inyong swimming career. And again, congratulations to all of you ladies for a job well done. 
Doon sa UAP uh, Swimming, uh, DLSU won its first ever title in about 19 years. Nakaka-proud talaga para sa inyo, para sa Green and White, eh, po dala sa community na meron tayong mga swimming champions na naidala ang bandera ng Lasal sa tugat sa mataas na podium sa UAP. Thumbs up and smile pa sa ating group picture bagay closing remarks. One, two, three! Ayun, so before we wrap up, I like to ask all three of you to say uh, your last words and of course, masasalamat na rin sa lahat ng mga taga-suporta ninyo all throughout the campaign niya ng Lasal dyan sa UAP 85 Swimming. I'll start with Nikki, the co-captain. Um, gusto ko mag-thank you kay, kay God kasi hindi niya kami pinabayaan before, during, and after um, our season. And, <clears throat> and then next, uh, family ko, kasi andun talaga sila all throughout ng training ko, like before UAAP and during. And then next, sa uh, coaches namin na sobrang solid nila, i-handle kami kahit ito yung first time sa team na andami namin. So for sure, nabigla rin sila, pero they handled it very well. And then um lastly, sa teammates ko and sa Lasallian community kasi sobrang solid talaga yung bond namin this season. Like, nagtulungan talaga kami from the start until sa end. And until now, kahit tapos na yung season, halos everyday pa rin kami nagkikita lahat kahit um, walang training. So, yun. Best team so far talaga this season. So, yun lang. Ilang taon ka na ba na natitira mo dun sa UAP? Um, next year po yung last season ko na. Oh, marami malulungkot niya sa inyo dahil alam ko magpapalam ka na sa UAP and sana hindi mo isasarado ang pinto mo para makabalik nga doon sa national team and of course sa swimming na rin sana pag uh, oh. decide ka ng magandang decision para sa katatakbo nga ng inyong swimming career oh, po. Let's see oh. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Pagbagdasal natin yan. What about si Raven? Ilan taon na, na ng, um, ilan taon ka na, na bago ka mag-graduate? Uh, three more years. Oh, three more years. So, parang freshman ka na rin doon sa collegiate. Okay. Yes. So, magpasalamat ka na sa ito na pagkakataon. Magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga tag-supporta mo in both swimming at doon sa duwatlon and triathlon ka resin. Uh, I would like to thank yung coaches ko talaga from Cebu and also my teammates from Cebu. As in, sobrang laking factor po ng, as in, pag-push na ng trainings namin. And also, sa teammates ko sa, uh, sa Lasal, as in, my whole UAAP season, as in, sobrang naging meaningful po because of them. And I, w- I would also like to thank my parents, coaches, and my teammates po for the continued support and also the Lasalian community po. Oo nga eh. At uh, makikita ka pa namin uh, sa mga susunod na mga competitions kayo ni Kim, ni Per, ni Judge Cano, and po si Kim M. Sana matuloy uh, natin yung ating mga interviews natin uh, in case na manalo ka doon sa mga iba't ibang mga triathlon and duathlon competitions. Yan ang promise natin ha. Okay po. Sige po. <laughs> And finally, Chloe, your final remarks. And of course, you appeal nga pala sa lahat ng mga taga-suporta ninyo dahil uh, sasabak ka sa Pina Worlds this coming next week. Um, Just very thankful for you know, the Tasalian community because they've helped me so much in my journey, Um, not only with my swimming, but my school and really helped me with, um, you know, a lot of, um, what's it called, more confidence in my swimming and just made it, a lot more fun and um I would also thank you know my mom who's always been there for me uh the coaches and um super super grateful for the captains this year they have really put their efforts in putting everything together not only with um the swimming activities but also the um you know keeping us motivated during practice and at the meet so I'm very very thankful for them And of course, your uh, support nga pala sa inyong upcoming campaign for the Pina Worlds kay ni Jasmine, ni Tanya, ni Jonathan, at ni Sebastian next week. Uh, yes, uh, very, very excited to see them and, uh, you know, hopefully they can 
well, hopefully. I know they're going to do great. So I'm excited to watch them swim too. Okay, so kota na tayo sa ating interview with these three girls, Chloe, Nikki, and Raven. I'd like to thank you. Kahit alam ko, busy na kayo sa iba't ibang mga studies ninyo at yung training ninyo for Lasal. Eh, pinaglaanan kayo ng oras para makapag-usap tayo dito sa ating programa. And for sure, pag mayroon kayo yung mga iba mga interesting developments sa inyong mga swimming and especially yung triathlon career ni Raven. Balikan nyo ko at of course, uh, i-update ko kayo sa inyong mga ganap ninyo sa buhay. So again, study art, train art, work art, syempre. And uh, pagdasal natin sa Diyos na sana papabuti pa ang inyong mga karera ninyo na isa gayon ay marami kayong may uuwi ng mga medalya sa buong Lasal community. But of course, yung mas importante pa sa ating bahay din na rin. Okay, thank you girls and have a good night. Bye! Thank you so much. Thank you so much po. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, bye. thank you po. Ingat po.